Hi, my name is Bob Tabor with www.learnvisualstudio.net. This series of lessons should provide an introduction to the fundamentals of the C-sharp programming language and programming in general. Now, if you're already an experienced software developer coming from another platform or another programming language, then frankly, these might move a little bit slow in some parts. You might be better served to find another resource to use as a starting point. But if you're completely new to programming and you're new to the C-sharp programming language, then this is a great place to start. We're going to walk through every action and we're going to talk about every single line of code that we'll write together. And I'm going to try to anticipate the problems that you might experience while typing in your first lines of code uh, as you're working through these exercises. Uh, based on my interaction with absolute beginners over the past 12 years of helping people just like you learn C Sharp and .NET through videos just like these. Okay, These videos were recorded using Visual Studio 2013 Express for Windows Desktop, which is a free edition of Visual Studio available for download from Microsoft.com slash Express. And this is also important. Since we're merely covering the basics of the C Sharp programming language, the things that I'm going to cover in this series of videos will apply to all versions and all editions of Visual Studio. So this includes Visual Studio 2008, 2010, 2012, 2013, and whatever comes next. Uh, it also means that you can use the Express Editions or any commercial versions that you might have access to, access to a Visual Studio. So in other words, and I can't more emphatically state this, as long as there's a C Sharp to learn, these videos will still be valid. When new versions of Visual Studio do become available, the features that are added rarely affect the features that are relevant to the absolute basics and the fundamentals of C Sharp in particular. So you can watch these and follow these videos 10 years from now and they should still be valid. In the very next lesson, we're going to walk through the installation steps of Visual Studio 2013 Express for Windows Desktop. Now, feel free to skip that lesson if you already have uh, Visual Studio 2013 Express for Windows Desktop installed or if you have any later version of Visual Studio installed. To get the most out of this series, you should be an active learner, meaning that you should attempt to follow along. I call this getting your hands dirty in the code. Uh, there's no better way to learn than following along and writing the code yourself. Pause the video. Rewind the video. While I do make the code that I wrote available for download, uh, and you're welcome to reference it if you like, you should really be typing this in yourself into your own copy of Visual Studio. Furthermore, I would encourage you to not be in a rush to complete this course. If something doesn't make sense, Again, pause the video, rewind it, watch it again, or find other articles uh, or the resources on MSDN or Microsoft.com or Channel 9 or Microsoft Virtual Academy or my own website, again, www.learnvisualstudio.net, that could help make that concept clearer. Like I said earlier, if you're new to programming, I'm excited for you. You're embarking on an exciting journey that's immersive and it's rewarding. Uh, and you can do this. If you've ever gotten stuck in the past trying to learn to program, I promise you that if you put in the time and you work with me, that working together we're going to build a knowledge of C-sharp and you'll be well equipped to move on to more advanced tutorials uh, where you can learn how to build your own web, Windows, and phone applications. And if you ever have any questions about this series or if I can help you in any way, please feel free to write me personally at bob at learnvisualstudio.net or you can contact me on Twitter at, at Bob Tabor. So after installing Visual Studio 2013 Express for Windows Desktop in the very next lesson, we're going to create our first program in lesson number three. It's a simple program uh, that we're going to build on until we get the fundamentals under our belts. So I hope you're excited because I am. So let's go ahead and get started. See you in the next lesson. Thank you.